Hey guys, it's Jen Marilla, the Social Girl Traveler, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm so happy that you're here. This is where I share all my knowledge on being an entrepreneur, content creator, and blogger. I'm excited to have you guys here because today, I am literally gonna talk to you about the number one thing I am ridiculously good at, or was good at when I did it, quitting my job to travel the world. And I've literally made a full-time job out of this. So if this is something you are interested in, give me a thumbs up below, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell so that you can catch all the updates. But guys, today I'm gonna give you so many ways that you can make money and travel the world full time. And I'm not joking, but the biggest thing I want you guys to take away before I get into it is being resourceful. Yes, being resourceful. That is the number one most important thing that I've learned from traveling the world and getting paid for it. And lastly, before I get into it one more time, you're gonna wanna stick around to the end, you guys, because I have a surprise for you. As always, you guys know how I do, so stick around to the end. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so before I get into it, let me give you guys a little bit of a background. So I quit my job almost five years ago now to travel the world and get paid. And to be completely transparent, I didn't actually start getting paid at least until two to three months after I left. Now, it wasn't in direct alignment with being a social media influencer. There were certain projects and ways that I made money while traveling, and I will get into this here, but specifically for being an influencer or being a blogger, it took me about three to four months to actually get paid. And it wasn't a lot of money, but I still made money and enough to use it to drop. All right, so. I'm about to give you guys eight different things that you can do to get paid while traveling. Before I do, go get a pen and paper because you're gonna wanna write this down. Let's start with number one, getting your TOEFL certification. Getting your certificate to teach English in another country is super valuable. I actually got it before I left to travel as kind of a backup just in case. There are a lot of countries around the world that would pay a lot of money to have an American come and teach English in their native country. Super powerful, I recommend it highly. Number two, be a photographer. Now, with all respect to all photographers, I'm not a photographer, I don't call myself a photographer. I do take photos, I have taken photos, but by no ways, shape, or form do I consider myself a professional photographer. However, I do consider myself a businesswoman. <laughs> and when I was traveling, a lot of the places that I got for free, the way I negotiated was I convinced them to let me say for free in turn for a few professional photos. I did have a nice camera and the photos that they currently had on their website or their Google page or Yelp or booking.com because booking.com is huge in South American countries and Southeast Asia. The reviews in those websites and the photos on those websites were not good. So what I did was I utilized my negotiating skills to get them to give me one or two nights free in exchange for maybe five or 10 photos that they can potentially use for their website, for social media, media and or the reviews on those websites. Very, very strategic and it works a lot. I was traveling to Southeast Asia for about three months and I only ever paid for two accommodations. And it was the very first one when I got to Thailand, which was $20 a night and I was exhausted and I didn't want to negotiate. And the last one, which was in Bali, I paid for an entire month and that was like stupid cheap. I think it was like $250 for the entire month. So everything in between, cause I was traveling in Bali for a while, I actually convinced them to let me stay for free other places in Thailand and in Cambodia as well. So it was really good. Number three, being a social media manager. Now, this is actually what I did when I quit my job to travel the world. I had a few clients in my home base, local businesses, and I created content for them. And I was a social media manager. Now, I didn't charge a lot of money, but I charged enough to get by. When I got to Australia, because I've actually, fun fact, lived in Australia for a couple of months, that is how I didn't work for anybody else and was able to work for myself and manage my blog. I was a social media manager and I worked with local businesses in Sydney, Australia to help them run their content. This is a super easy way to make money. Time is flexible. I will, however, say that it is super important to be <laughs> super disciplined when you're being a social media manager, simply because it can get a little bit overwhelming when you're managing a lot of people's accounts and your own account. Something to keep in mind. All right, number four, cash in hand jobs. What does that mean? Cash in hand, meaning jobs that you get paid under the table of cash. Yes, this is slightly legal, and you really don't wanna get caught doing this, but if you're traveling and you really need some money, this is definitely something to do. So what I did when I was traveling, I did this a lot in Spain, I've done this in London, and I've done this, no, I haven't done this in Australia, 
but <laughs> look at me actually admitting this on social media. Probably not a good idea. Anyways, <laughs> you could do this in certain countries. I wouldn't recommend doing it in a lot of countries, but the only reason I did it in these countries was because I actually had friends there that I've known for an extensive amount of time that I can actually have a real conversation with them. I had a friend who had a tutoring center, and so I asked them if they needed help there. I have friends who were bartenders at restaurants and cafe shops and things like that. And so I kind of did those types of jobs to help bring in some extra cash. Also, another fun fact, I used to dance. I used to dance until I was like 14 or something like that, or 15. And so I know how to dance. And I've taken salsa classes and all those things. And so when I was in Spain, I actually taught salsa and I used that money as like my fun cash while I was traveling in Spain. So that's a nice little tip. Yes, you want to have conversations and I would only recommend having conversations with people you know about potentially taking jobs like this. And it could be at bars, it could be at cafes, it could be um, after school tutoring centers, or you could just kind of, you know, if you have your TOEFL certification, just kind of reach out to your friends and let them know within that country, hey, I'm actually certified to teach English. Like if anybody wants to do 25 euro an hour for coffee, let me know. This will be great. All right, which leads me to step five. Okay, this is probably the coolest. And I wish I would have done this when I started traveling. If there's any way to monetize traveling full time, it would be by doing this. But again, you have to be super disciplined, you guys. Something that I lacked dearly and deeply when I first started because I was so excited to travel. You have to remember that when you're traveling, you're meeting tons of people and you're in a new place, you get distracted. You do not want to be tied to a computer the entire time, which is why I say it takes a lot Okay, so number five is be a virtual assistant. There are tons of programs online that you can take, online courses that teach you the foundation of what it takes to be an online virtual assistant, aka VA. Typically a VA gets paid anywhere between 10 to about 25, 30, even sometimes 40 or $50 an hour. It all depends on how many years they've been a VA, how many clients they have, how much credibility and how long they've been in the industry for, okay? But a VA, super awesome job to be able to travel the world and do this because essentially all you really need is a good computer and amazing Wi-Fi. Nowadays, those things are pretty easy to come by unless you're in China or in India. In my case, those are the two countries that were the hardest to get internet from. <laughs> Sorry guys, but yeah, all right. Number six, copywriter. Now, when I first started traveling and I launched my blog, I wrote for other publications for free. I did not get paid for that. And I did a lot of that for credibility, but there were other publications that I wrote for, for compensation. There were several publications where I wrote specific articles about where I was traveling to, about travel tips, about packing tips, all that kind of stuff. And I got paid a minimum of 100 to 200 to sometimes even up to $300 for someone else's blog. Typically where I found these jobs, where on travel websites or Facebook groups and things like that. So you definitely wanna check them out. In the link below, I will link some Facebook groups that I am a fan of and where you can possibly find jobs like this. Okay, number seven. This is probably the coolest. So have you guys ever heard of Wolf? It's the worldwide opportunities on organic farms. This is where people get to live abroad and work on farms in exchange for food and accommodation. I've never done this. I did look into it at some point, but then it just kind of fell off the table because I was able to find another job as a blogger. But these are something to consider if you're looking to travel long distance for an extensive amount of time. I've actually had a lot of friends that have done stuff like this in Australia, in Spain, in Greece, and they've absolutely loved it. And essentially what it is, is you stay on someone's farm and you work on their farm in exchange for food and accommodation. You get a few days off, but obviously you don't get the freedom of traveling and exploring and doing whatever you want because you are kind of working for food instead. All right, leads me to our very last, but the most important and my favorite, drum roll please. Number eight, start your own business. <laughs> Probably should have been number one, but number eight, start your own business. Guys, I cannot tell you enough how important it is to be able to have your own business and your own freedom and create the own life, create the lifestyle that you want. In order for you to actually do that, starting your own business is super powerful. A lot of the jobs that I said before, I've actually done while I was traveling and running my blog and creating content for my blog. So it was hard, it was not easy. And I had to create a discipline. I had to be super committed. I also had so much belief in myself and what I wanted to do that nobody can stop me. And it takes a lot of willpower. 
If I could go back and do it again, I would have invested in my business and just focused on creating more of that. I did make sure that when I did copywriting or when I did photography, it was obviously related to travel because it was in my realm of what I did. I wasn't a food you know, photographer and then traveling the world. You get what I mean? But at the end of the day, if I can go back and do something differently, it would be to have just started my blogging business and taking it to the next level sooner rather than later. And so there you guys have it. I've now shared with you eight different things that you can do to travel the world and get paid. So there is no excuses why you can't be able to do this. And more importantly, if I did it, you can do it. <laughs> There's anything you want to take away from that. If I do it, you can do it. And as I promised in the description below, there is an ebook for you that I created that kind of reiterates all of this and helps you strategically plan what to do and how to travel the world. I traveled the world for 11 months with $14,000 and I was able to see a few countries. Don't ask me how many, but a lot. <laughs> I was in Europe, I was in South America, and I was in Southeast Asia, concluding my trip in Australia where I lived for about eight months. Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. If this was helpful and you think you have even more tips to offer, drop them below. I'm always interested to learn more because there's always new companies and new opportunities and new things for people to travel the world and get paid for it. So drop your comments below. Let me know if you want to know more of this. Let me know if you have any more questions about any of these eight different things that you could do. And I hope that you subscribed and I hope to see you guys next time. But until next time, have a beautiful and blessed day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.